Uh, it's kind of like a split personality disorder, so I can pull out like American accent like this. Yeah, American, God bless the United States of America, hoorah! My name's Michael Wright, and um, I just, just a pretty cool guy. I'm actually here from Australia. Is I don't like I don't like to do a bit of acting. I wanted to pursue when I was younger. What got me into the whole army stuff was I was getting bullied online, so I decided to create this new character where I started wearing the, the army uniform. I just watched a lot of movies, you know, the war in Afghanistan, you know, with all these Af all these war movies and just inspired me. When I first started doing it, I wasn't well educated on it, I had to wear it properly. So as time grew, I did my research and started wearing it correctly. And I trained different uniforms every time. I first started out with the US Marines and then eventually tried the ACU camouflage of the army and then I, now I switched to multicam. I love doing it, you know. I, I did want, I have tried to join the army. It didn't work out because of my disabilities and physical health problems I suffer from every day. So I decided, what? Well, well, stop it. I must just wear it and do what I love doing, you know. You know, and people say stolen valor, this stolen valor, that, but I don't go around wearing all those medals that those stolen valor dickheads do. You know, lie about the service. I don't lie. I tell people the truth. I couldn't join, so I love wearing it for fun. I don't go to shops or malls wearing that stuff. I only wear it when I exercise, when I go bike riding or hiking. That's it. You know, all these people who st steal the valor who go into shops and like lie about their service to get discounts and stuff. You know, I saw I had people call me out just the other day, stolen valor. You know, took the patches off my, off my, my um, thing and had a go at me and stuff. Yeah, but I still know I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, it's their choice. If they want to think that way, I mean, it's their choice. And I told them you can't judge a book by its cover. You need to understand the entire book, the story of the actual book before you make up your judgment. You know. I don't care. People want to think me a stolen valor. They can go ahead and think that. I know the truth. God knows the truth. All my friends know the truth. You know, so it's it's up to them idiots to realise what a dickhead they are. Because I've tried to I've tried wearing normal clothes. It doesn't motivate me to exercise. The army stuff does. That's what people don't understand. You know, they, you think an army uniform is something sacred, but if you go into the future, the all this, the whole military you know, the stolen valor thing, that would be gone and dusted. It'd be like a be like a faded memory of of a previous generation. I know what sacrifice is. I've seen it now. Not gone there physically, but I know from talking to veterans, people who are serving in the army, even transit guards, because I know most of the transit guards in the city who are ex-army, ex even some of the police are ex-army I, I, I talk to and stuff sometimes. And they know I'm not meaning any harm by it. It's just the people who don't know me who miss who misunderstanding of my situation of it. Um, I did wear the, the sigma and the patches to identify as friendly because if I wore normal camouflage, um, I could get shot by the wrong person. Um, back in back in 2014, where I didn't wear the patches, I just wore the camouflage, and and someone thought that I was a terrorist and had a gun between my legs at, at my house in Kennington because I had to move, I used to live there. And police came at my door, came at me because I was sitting in the front yard just playing my country music, you know, having some drinks after a long day of riding. Next minute, three police cars rock up to the left side of, of, of the road. Cops came out with their guns, point at me, ready to shoot me. And I had my hands up and I was like, I was like, USA Philly, don't shoot, don't shoot. And they told me, get on the ground, your arms out. So I laid out my arms out. They handcuffed me and they told me, um, we have a report to you sitting outside your house drinking alcohol and playing Anzac music. You know, I became famous on Facebook for making sound effects with my mouth. Um, back in 2013, when I was doing sound class, because I love making music, I had an interest in making music and doing sound. And it just started one day, I, I was testing the microphone. And it just came to me. So I went there, I went like this. 
and then I hopped out the microphone back to it was a small square dark room and when I came out everybody was on the floor in laughter and eventually transit guards around around my Perth area saw it all, videos and knew me in person and then the police knew me eventually and of course I had the police pulled me over a few times uh, quite a lot because I didn't know who it was and they were quite asking a lot of questions about why I was wearing the army gear riding around through the city and stuff but now they know all who I am, I'm, I'm quite famous with the police now, they like me when I do. I go past them mostly at night time and during the day and they mostly do this, salute me.